Hello and welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast. I'm your host, Rab himself, and today I have two very special guests, April and Phil Margera. Hey, welcome, Rab. Guys. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for letting me crush the old house, the old yeah. people of Amset. You're welcome. Do you feel at home here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, for real. It is funny. I mean, it always changes because you're always doing something cool with like the artistic side of things. You're always like, you know, doing a new piece of furniture or some other little thing so it shifts a lot oh, and changes. Well, thank you does it look but a lot different it, but it feels the same good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah yeah no it definitely feels the same well that's good so uh we how just you spent an hour and a half reminiscing we do we have stuff to talk about <laughs> still <laughs> yeah we do we i know the best or last. <laughs> yeah no i know it's funny um i i so i wanted to ask i had a, i have a whole bunch of questions because i was looking through some things and and uh what i really wanted to ask and I, I, I might have sort of known the story because I always think back to stories like you'll be like, oh, we stole this, you know, <laughs> case of beer of Schlitz or oh, whatever God. beer it was off, a, off a train. And train. I know all these old stories, but I wanted to know how you guys met. Oh, well, we met at the movie theater. I actually in Chichester or? in Tri-State Mall, Tri-State Mall. Uh, Tri-State. 1973. Three, I think it was because I it was my graduating year, but sorry about that. I turned my phone down. Um, but <laughs> anyway, I was working there before he came there, and his friend was there, and he said that his my he, high school friend Bobby his Pierre, high school still best friend Bobby Pierre, Pierre was working oh, there, wow. and so um, he says, you know, my friend Phil's coming to work, and I honestly, you know, there's not a whole lot of moments in your life that you remember, kind of like coming to you in slow-mo but for me it was and there was this long hallway <laughs> phil had a outside. slow-mo entrance well, because <laughs> I not didn't, even knowing it I didn't know all, you know like the movie I, entrance of like i didn't even <laughs> well i didn't even think first of all this is a terrible thing to say that bobby pierce friend would be like kind of like bobby <laughs> yeah 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 you know uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. so um i didn't expect phil and he was lo- walking down this long outdoor ha- hallway to get in the side door to come through yeah and he actually had like long blonde hair and brown blonde it was blonde never blonde it was my recollection not yours <laughs> yeah and then, listen this is her slow mo <laughs> and then he had like a ruffled shirt that was unbuttoned to the waist with these tiny little pants and tiny little waist and I, I mean, it was like a Patrick Swayze moment for oh, me, yeah. you know, because I'm like, who is this guy? Yeah, well, he was and a stud, he, and he, and I just picture him with like a baseball bat, like all over his shoulder, because no, he was, he was like just very, this awesome athlete too. He was just very relaxed, but very shy. He didn't say much, and yeah. and but he came in and he was very nice, and that like he is now, very like, yeah, he does that a lot. Um, but just like mellow. And I soft just and, really yeah. thought wow you know what I mean wow so I kind of was telling his friend like you know so tell me about your friend and he was telling me that he was telling him that I kind of liked him when in in truth he wasn't he wasn't telling he him anything he never told me a word about it because then I found oh, yeah, out yeah. Her. <laughs> I found out later that he liked me which I didn't know hey listen <laughs> you gotta keep you gotta, you gotta keep you at arm's length this slow yeah. most this slow motion yeah. stunt yeah, that's walking weird. down the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean and I don't know how he felt about me right away I didn't even ever I don't even think I ever asked you yeah I liked your frizzy hair I didn't have frizzy hair you used to turn it upside down and well I had big wild and hair flip it over to be frizzy yeah. Well, I you did that. <laughs> that was the style. Well, then, it was very right? big, big curly yeah, big, 70s pretty. hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's awesome. So, so, but you went to different high schools or? Yeah, yeah I right? went to Garnet. You went Valley. to Garnet and you went to Chai. Yeah. yeah. But she thought I was a college student when I met her. She didn't know I was a year and a half younger. Yeah, than when I, I, oh, I yeah. just assumed yeah, she, he was in college because, like, I. How old were you guys? I was, a, I'm a year and a half older than he is. So, right. I was. 17 and a half. No, well, you were at my 18th birthday. So yeah. you were 17 and a half. Yeah, I was you. 17 when I met him, and he oh, was wow. 16. I was still 16. So it was my senior year. Yeah. And I just assumed that he he was in college. He looked like a college yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when he was talking about school, and I'm like, well, are you in college? He goes, no, I'm not in college. He goes, I go to Chai. I'm like, Chai, are you a student teacher? 
Yeah. And he said, no. I said, oh, are you, oh, I'm like, are you a senior? And he says, no. And I'm thinking, oh, thank God. And then he says, I'm a junior. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? I never failed either. How no junior? juniors in my school look like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's always a good thing, too, is you got to go outside of your school because you, you, you know all the guys there. Yeah, like, all eh. the people at our school were nerds. Yeah, that's kind of well, how I mean, Asha how was. She I, did the same thing. She was like, I, was I like, never yeah, wanted to date the I don't people wanna, I don't want to date anybody in my class. Yeah. So you had to go get this stud down here that's slow motion entering into... <laughs> that's yeah. hilarious. She told me that. She said well, I was Patrick Swayze yeah. from Dirty Dancing. Yeah. I couldn't dance, though. It was yeah. good. No, oh, you couldn't? No, and he I never dance. could dance. Oh, really? No. Oh, well, I never would have thought... I would have fainted good, a few times, though. Yeah, but not a good dancer. I would dancer. dip her and spin her a couple times. Yeah, because yeah. I gave weddings. him some lessons for weddings. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Because it was pretty... Yeah, we were... So then was it like kind of right away you started dating or you were friends and then you no well we ended up i i was like well i think vince had the the car half the time so Don't i was up. kind of yeah. like driving him home because it was on my kind of on my way home but then i was like in trouble when i got home it's like what took you so long to get home well i had to drop him off you know yeah and then um and then i picked him up one day because we were having a baseball game with people from i think the eric or something um, yeah, movie theater. So I picked him up early on a Sunday morning and I knocked on the door and Patrick, his little brother, who was like eight years old, yeah, opens the door and I said, hi. <laughs> I said, is, is Phil here? And he goes, yeah, I'll get him. And he slams the door on my face and I'm out on the front porch like, <laughs> so you invite her in. I'm like, uh, okay. there, but what, you're, there. there's seven, right? Seven brothers. Yeah. Sisters. Well, I couldn't believe it because then when I met, you know, him later, like I got invited to dinner and his mom was making Thanksgiving, but it wasn't Thanksgiving. It was like a big turkey dinner. Oh, whoa, yeah. And I remember. Well, I feel down. like every day had to be like that. If you have that many kids, yeah. you got to make this big. Well, it's yeah. a family yeah. of nine. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> but the funny part was I had met Kevin at the mall, but. I didn't think he talked because he never Kevin said or Phil. Kevin. My brother, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. But I didn't know he was his brother. He's out there right now, isn't he? Yeah, he was yeah. swimming earlier. Well, because I thought he was mute. He didn't say anything. Oh, but he has so jaw we, broken wired we, oh. I didn't know that, oh, okay. but I didn't know he was his brother. And then Vince was his other brother who was like always with this pack of guys driving around, you know, in the car. In the yeah. van. He had a van. And, um, and said whatever he wanted. But I remember sitting down, there was a bowl full of stuffing for a whole table of people and he just took the whole thing on his plate. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuffing was his favorite, Abe. I know, but yeah. it was very different. Well, it was so different from my house that I thought it was kind of like exciting because, oh my gosh, like the cops knew where he lived. You know what I mean? Yeah, they yeah, were knocking yeah. on the door and all this crazy stuff where at my house, it was like my mother would divide things in pieces so nobody, yeah. even oh, if you yeah, weren't yeah, there, yeah. your piece was safe. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So yeah, they had tasty cakes on top of the refrigerator. Once and in she a while. gave me one and I said, can I have another one? She goes, no, there's only one pack left. And it's for Matt. I says, Matt's not here. He's not going to care. Right. No, it's like, yeah, yeah no, every, everything got divided. Yeah. yeah. It, it might, oh, well, you that's your home, mom you in a it. nutshell. Yeah. You know, I feel like she was very, like, organized. Well, organized, and here's yours, yeah. and here's yeah. yours, right. and you can have it whenever you want. If you're not home, you don't and get so it. And so that's how that, our... My, I was more like that. One, 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 we're one of four. But, I mean, you yeah. have three of you, but, like, but the same thing. It was like, I remember my cousin came to stay with us one time, and I drank her or, her apple juice. She had like written her name on it, and I oh, no. and I drank it. I was like, "What?" And then my mom was like, "Yeah, it doesn't work like that in this house. So you just get whatever's there." It doesn't work that way. Yeah, yeah, like, but she was like, "I can't believe you drank my." It's like it's not yours if it's in there. It's everything. It's the right. whole. It's yeah, right. first come, first <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, but yours was. I yeah, feel different. like I found. You know, I moved this way from that kind of control. And yeah. he he moved a little bit, so we met in the middle. So right, right, our right. house was a little crazy, and you know all the times that made me crazy when you. Guys oh, you were, mean when we were around? Like yeah, when yeah. we were around. I mean, I loosened up way better than I used to be. And yeah, he, oh, definitely. And yeah. he tightened up a little bit. Yeah. But he he's always free winging it, as you well know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to kind of bring up some some of that stuff because, like, I think about you know when we were kids and and uh 
So anyway, so so okay, so you you're dating and then you you get married. You were young though, right? Mm-hmm. I was eighteen. She was. 19. I was nineteen. Yeah, okay. I turned twenty three weeks later though. Yeah. And then when? How much longer until Jess was born? Not. Well, we actually got married in seventy six, and then we believe it or not, we lived in an apartment for the first year, and then we bought our first house. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Right, right, right. And we, you know, bought our house, decorated and all was that. Was that the Concord house or that was... No, the... this was oh, the house oh. uh, right off of, of Chester Pike in oh, the yeah. Falcroft, Falcroft area. They call it was oh, like yeah, yeah. Falcroft, Glen Olden house. area. Mm-hmm. And um, and so um, then we had Jesse in 78. Right. And then Bam in 79. Yeah. So now I have, I have some questions for you because okay. we all know that you're a huge Elvis fan. Probably the biggest Elvis fan. Yeah, ever. Yeah. I think <laughs> I ever. Remember that time I got hypnotized in Vegas and you were like, oh, oh Rev, mm-hmm. you like sounded like. <laughs> oh. You were like blown away that I was singing and knowing his stuff. Yeah, like how did you know that? But I was like, because I've been around you my whole life. That's There's, where you picked it up? Yeah, I was like, I've, how would I not know Elvis? Like, Because I don't even know the songs. Yeah, yeah, but. You, I just listened to them. I never learned you know them. What? I just listened to them. Yeah, yeah but, I, I, but being around it, learned, I picked up yeah. on it because, I mean, you, it's. It's always day and night. Elvis is playing that by far, and then you show us movies. Was the funniest and, thing yeah. I ever yeah. saw in my whole life. That it's the, oh, the funniest hypnotized. thing oh. that Bam and I held on to each other, crying, laughing. I have never <laughs> yeah, that, that laughed that hard. You had since. your white rental tux on, yeah, right? yeah, and you yeah. Talked in your white shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Saving people from a that fire. was crazy though, because I have I remember. So I remembered in middle school over at Stetson, they brought this like. Uh, hypnotist in and kids went down and sat down there and did that and oh back like, at Stetson days yeah. when you were young yeah and Bam and I are sitting there going this is bullshit <laughs> they're, they're like this is total bullshit there's no way any of that is real or that works so I my whole life completely didn't believe it then you and I got up on the stage and you were like kind of sitting there but you weren't really listening to what he was saying and I thought look I'm going to do exactly what this guy said you listen to every word he I'm going to fully open up to this working because I'm going to prove that it doesn't work. And then he started saying, take these deep breaths, do this. Do you this, remember this, doing all it? this thing. And the only reason, so then you go, all of a sudden I felt like I, I felt like I fell asleep. And then I felt like I dreamt all of that. It and was, then I woke up and I was like, because when he woke us up, then all of a sudden you looked out and there's all these lights and everybody's there. I was like, well, what the fuck, clapping, everybody's laughing. here? <laughs> And then it's this weird thing of going, I thought that was all a dream, but it was really happened. So then I couldn't remember. And then everybody's telling me everything I did. Then they showed the tape. So then I pieced back together all of it. And now I remember it now because I saw it after. But the whole time it just felt like I had dreamt it. Right. I, and I said I said to Phil and to Ben, there is no way he is faking that. No I, there way. was. I, and that, that was what was so he crazy. Would- Never do that. <laughs> that was what was so crazy because I just thought, God, what the hell? This is real. Have you been hypnotized since? No. Never tried it? No, never I never did it. I never did it that since. That was yeah. bizarre. But it was like, yeah. oh man, this really works if you really relaxed and let the guy do all the things that he was doing. It just felt like this dreamlike no. state. He'll just tune out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not letting that happen. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw, I saw that. But uh, but no, that was that was funny. So, you, so you're a big Elvis fan. So then... Is Jesse named after Elvis's brother? Yes, she wouldn't let me name him Elvis. I said then Jesse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I no. I have to say that I like the name Jesse. Yeah, I do. Yes, if I name. didn't like the middle name of whatever Elvis was, it wouldn't yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do well, like that's Jesse. That's the reason he's named Jesse. And yeah, Elvis. Yeah. There's not. See, but no Elvis's way. middle name is Jesse because of his brother that passed. Yeah. yeah. And then. Oh, no. No, it's his twin brother, Jesse Garrett. Yeah, the, right. It's his twin brother. Elvis' middle name was Aaron. Yeah, Elvis Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron, but I didn't like Aaron for some reason. Yeah, but I don't Jesse like is either. the twin brother that Pat. Yeah. So then you name your firstborn we Jesse. Couldn't, no. Oh, That's how much brother. of an Elvis fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but it, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't a decent... Right, right, right. right. Like <laughs> Elvis? No. no. Gets the point. Why didn't I name him Aaron? <laughs> Elvis' middle name. Because I don't like Aaron. There was a kid in what our neighborhood. What do you mean? Jesse's was, a good name. I know. I love Jesse. Yeah, the, but no, yeah. no. There was a kid in our our neighborhood who was a complete nitwit, and his name was Aaron. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. So no, that would forever be in my head. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, so you named the firstborn Jesse, and uh, and then I'm I'm thinking more about like because we mentioned your brothers a little bit, and they were musicians. Mm-hmm. 
And you, but you didn't have much of that on your side, right? Like nobody was really I a couldn't musician. play guitar, piano. Nobody. Actually, yeah. every time his family sang "Happy Birthday," it was completely off key. The entire thing. <laughs> And I How love you that you him? know that. No, yeah, right. It was on, it was it was on the wrong note to start with. And it was just like yeah. I didn't know happy birthday had Trinity. No. That's hilarious and I love it because you knew that and then you go, How can you even tell? It's like well, when she watches American Idol and she says, Oh, they're good. I said, How can you tell? I, I had no idea. Well she hit this high note. I said, What's like the high note? It didn't look that good to me. Sharp. Yeah. And I'm like, No, it was always started off on the wrong tune and I'm like Oh, that man. whole happy birthday song is off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's like there's musical talent on your side of the family, and and that and that's obviously where I feel like Jess got it from. Well, my both of my brothers. Because there's that drummer, influence. My my, yeah, Danny, who's yeah. two years younger than I am, was always a drummer Danny's and a very age, good drummer. Yeah. yeah. Um, my dad even was a drummer, which it's I so didn't funny, know. And not, not to be rude, but I always thought Danny was older than you. He's younger than you. He's two years younger. Oh, well. He's my, exactly I, my age. We're like. But he well, just, I guess, because he always had apart. long gray hair yeah, first. That's what my hair would look like if I didn't, you know, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you I, do? Oh, <laughs> sun kiss. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, for some reason, I always thought he was older than you. But than, than, my, than well, Matt. my, and it's funny because my grandfather, my mother's father, a very good singer. Oh, and yeah. And also a musician. My grandmother played the piano. My grandfather on my dad's side was a great trumpeter yeah um and also i you know there's a lot of mu musicality on that side right you know a lot of singers like right. my aunts well, they all harmonize with each other so i mean there's a lot of harmony i can't read a note of music but i can hear like i have an ear yeah for Music. Do you sing at all or, or i yeah i can bit, yeah. sing yeah. i mean i i can sing on key because bam can too you know, like, yeah, I yeah. can't read a note, yeah. but I can sing. I mean, I was in chorus, and I did yeah. a lot of things like that. When you did the baton thing, right? The, yeah, uh, I was the a twirler. Band or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, fire twirler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still do that for holidays. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's awesome. So, so that's really cool because that, that's sort of where that musicianship comes from. And then it, it was very much influenced. I mean, growing up, I just always remember... Matt and Danny being around and having, you know, yeah. an every type of different instrument. And they both play everything. Yeah. You know, and, and Matt like. Matt does I mean, for sure. And, yeah. and well, Danny plays a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like either drums or guitar. They do both or guitar and drums. Or, yeah. or yeah. you know, yeah. and then, and then, uh, and, and we all know Uncle Matt and the Shitbirds, his, yeah. uh, his albums, you know, <laughs> but those, those yeah. are awesome. But, but what's funny too about Uncle Matt, uh, Shitbirds, he, he also like, he plays those, he does those funny songs, but yeah. then he actually then can get up He's, there and, and he sounds really beautiful. He has a kill, one, yeah. he has a great voice. Right. I mean, he and could he'll have, play. He could have really gone somewhere, I think, with his voice. Yeah. For sure, H had it been a different time. Right. Yeah. But so so was it? So then was it something that like your parents were like, that's great hobby. It's not something to I pursue. For well, do you know what's really funny? It's it because was. in the sixties. And my dad worked for a plastics company. Yeah. And and if your kids wanted to do something that was like off the cuff, especially a musician, it was always like make sure you have a backup, yeah. make sure you have, you know, make sure you have a regular job, and this is your little hobby thing. Right. So that's so, my point is I think that. So that, when Jesse told yeah. me in his senior year, and we had already taken him around to colleges, and we looked at yeah. everything, and then he made the big announcement that he didn't want to go to college, he was going to be a musician. I, I guess maybe I heard my dad right. in my ear. So I remember saying to Jesse, you know, okay, here's the deal. The deal is you have two years to make this happen. Give it 120%. Yeah. Don't have anything to fall back on at this point. And if you don't make it in two years and I find you sleeping all day or you're not right. working for your craft, then we pull the plug and then we'll re-examine college. Right. And so you have two years, you're young and you know, and I felt like that was the best thing to do is to tell them go a hundred percent full steam because you'll never have this opportunity again in your life. Right. Cause you'll have to support yourself. Yeah, no, exactly. And I think what, well, they were kind of either looking or enrolled in Berkeley, right. Or whatever. And they had then gone they to Berkeley for the summer session yeah. and they felt like when they got there, 
they had taken a giant step backwards right. because they had already been in the studio been doing this day right? and, and day they're out. like if yeah. you're lucky at the end of the session you'll be able to go into the right. studio and they're like dude we thought we'd be in the studio the whole time right so yeah like, that was what was frustrating for me with college because i did tv and like, film what? stuff but it was like by the very end you get to touch something and you're like dude i've been on an mtv show for all these years I like, knew they year, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. right into it so they really felt like this is not going to be the avenue for us but the funny part was they signed with island records one day before the, the deadline that we gave them. <laughs> so it worked out. It was funny, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, right on the money. But, I mean, we knew they were close. It's, it's cool to hear that, like, you know, obviously that you have the structure of, hey, this is what it is, and you got to give yourself the timeline, go 100%, and then we re-examine. But, like, as a kid, you know, being friends with Jess and Bam, I just always, I saw it. I didn't know the behind the scenes workings of that. So the what I saw for me personally was a safe place to get creative and that was your house. Thank so, you for that because that means a really lot to me. Yeah, like because it, we it, took a lot of heat I think from no, our, I know. our from peers. Everybody. They and and, we and were trust insane. me, I heard it from you know, from from we'll leave it out, but we know who it is. Yeah. I heard that a lot and it's like you don't get it. You don't get it because this is a place that's safe to create and i and and i mean like that little dungeon basement is like so many great things happened Who out would of have that. ever thought that creepy basement <laughs> yeah, that yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. should ever want to yeah, be in I know. like when i see it now because ruthie lives there but i mean yeah. I, I haven't been in it but it's like it's a different that, world now that though. was like the hub right of everything everything, everything cky jackass it all was the crazy stuff that how that. like we yeah. and you guys went between my furniture and the use of the furniture well you rode the furniture <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> exactly your restaurant scenes were the worst yeah, i yeah. come home from work and it's like <laughs> why is there mustard all in a pan and like <laughs> do you remember pissed off. wait do you remember the chicken <laughs> cutlet mustard. thing yeah when, well phil was working at acme and i going into the refrigerator and there was a whole tray of chicken cutlets and i'm like oh he must have gotten chicken cutlets so that's what i'll plan for dinner <laughs> that was the army and, scene and so the, the, i yeah. go back and they're not there and i'm yeah. like where are the chicken cutlets and he says what chicken cutlets i'm like i am not hallucinating i know i saw chicken cutlets in there this morning i was going to yeah. bread them and do them for dinner and he's like i didn't buy bread and I'm thinking, I'm losing my mind. Did they buy them themselves? They bought them they themselves. Bought them. Yeah. And then they put it inside for, it of the shirt. It was for the shirt. wounds on the army skin. Hanging out your yeah. So yeah. we were watching like your footage later, and we're like, how did you make that look so fleshy? And they're like, oh, chicken cutlets. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm like ready to check myself yeah. into the yeah. nut house. Yeah, like I was going to bread those I'm for like, dinner. They yeah. were there yeah. just an hour yeah. ago. Yeah. No, that's hilarious. And but no, but I did always feel that way. I felt that way with everything everything with with you like because i i think about like i always think about like the banana boat the the sticker car and you know baseball and, team in yeah, it. yeah and, and the cool. baseball team getting in it but also going up the cheap skates in it yeah and like just this support for bam skateboarding and the support for just playing music and then the support for all of the friends that were around as well either filming little skits because mm -hmm. you know i would borrow your clothes, shave my head, bald, oh, yeah. go to Denny's Remember, or Remember, you whatever. wanted yeah. the discount for yeah. senior citizen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, but, but you know what? We loved having you kids there. Right, and, and it was so much fun. And we loved having you overnight. I mean, there were times when I was the only person cleaning up, and I did get a little... <laughs> pissed off a lot yeah. well right oh. right right especially it, that antique and shit yeah right because you just tear the whole place up and then yeah, and then flower on. everywhere yeah yeah because yeah. i remember that the antique thing i think i mean i might have been 12 years old when they when i was sleeping over that one time yeah. and then brandon and and bam hit me with it. i had no idea what even happened you know, and you're choking on it. It's all in your thing. Right. And you're like, what and I'm, the hell was that? And I'm like, what's white everywhere? <laughs> I just dusted. They're dying laughing. And you are you wake up totally confused as to what the hell's even going on. And then <laughs> I just remember that. There's a little clip of that. I was super young. I remember on, that. Uh, on CKY. And then you guys would do your prank phone calls in the middle of the night. Yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> using any little intercom system that we had somehow yeah. like you know i feel like anything we ever bought was like contributing to you know you kids just going down a wrong road yeah. and i just, and i remember one of our neighbor friends saying I don't know what's gonna happen to your kids your when dick they. Leader. No, no, i won't say any but she's a friend of mine. Oh no, yeah yeah yeah. But she says, you know, 
uh, yeah, like, yeah, I can't believe you're supporting this. But she did call me some years later and she goes, what an ass I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah, thinking, yeah. hey, don't. Don't butter the muffin yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah right, we've right, been right, through right. a lot. Right, right, right. But but uh, but but it was it was the incubator for for all things creative at that mm-hmm. point. And and I mean I always appreciated that because well, I just you. feel like it it gave me an area too. But bam, and every everybody, but just a place to feel like you could be yourself and not like you're having to hide this thing. And and really, what was so cool about it. And I understood this, but other parents, I don't think, understood it. And and trust me, I was always the scapegoat kid that they're like, don't let your kid hang out with Chris Rabb. It's going to be a problem, you know. And uh, plenty of other really? friends that would, would, parents would say that. Yeah, I mean, look, I, we, wow. we would, I would always get into mischief. But, uh, but, but, I know. <laughs> but, but the thing was, like, and I think you understood it. It's like, but I have a good heart. I'm not a bad person. You were really good I just wanted to stir shit up and bam wanted to stir shit up and we were able to do that together but then other friends that i would have oh he's the bad rab's the bad seed he's this he's this it's going to cause all this and then you look years later and you go well maybe i always always felt really bad about the shit on the lockers because i think i think bam talked you into that and you no 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 because that's always the story bam tells but no there was no yeah he didn't talk me about that i felt so bad about that i'm like oh my god no because but that's what always would bug me because i'm like i'm my own person but uh so it wasn't bam talking me into it it actually was me saying i was going to do it i had a meeting that morning with my parents and the principal and they said, if you get in trouble one more time the rest of the school year, you're going to be expelled. Right. And so I came out of that meeting and I was like, I am never going to make it to the end of the school year without getting in trouble. So, so you the just idea went was, I want to go out with a bang. <laughs> just do it now. And- but the original thought was, Mr. Heisman had this coffee mug on his desk. And Bam and I were overtaking this quiz. And I was like, dude, I'm going to take a shit in his coffee mug. And he's like, you won't fucking do that. I was like, yeah, I will. And he was like, no, no, you won't. And then it was like, dude, do it. And I was like, I'm doing it. So I went to take the shit in the coffee mug. The whole plan was to take the mug back and put the the mug with the shit hanging out of it on his desk. That was the original thought. The locker thing happened because I was in the hallway and this girl was coming and I was like, oh shit, I'm going to get caught. So I threw it onto the onto the lockers and then threw the cup into the bathroom and then ran away and there's shit on my foot and there's all, but but the but the original plan was to take the shit in the mug and bring it back and put it on his desk. It. That was it. But I would always pee on everything. I used to I used to love oh, peeing know. in the back of the bus so then when it stopped it would go piss on you everybody's bag. You know what? Yeah. All you kids, I know. Yeah, 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 Him yeah. Too. Yeah. But but so it was, you know. That was always the thing is like, you know, we would egg each other on, but, oh. you know, but come up with, with crazy stuff to do. And so I, you know, I, but, but I think the thought was that people thought, oh, that's, that you're, you know, there's, it's mean spirited or these other things, but really None it was it just, was, yeah. it was just to be funny and have funny a good time. And, and, yeah. and, and, uh, and, and so, you know, I, I always appreciated that, but from the outside looking in, you couldn't tell, oh, and I, and like, Oh, what is, what's going on over there? And really, when you looked at it, it was innocent, just, just nonsense. Just cranky crap. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and, and But you guys understood that, and I think you understood it because you were close to it, where other parents are going, hey, my kid's, I don't know what my kid's doing. He's out there, whatever. You guys were there and around and basically supervising it. And I have always found that that is such a good thing because you're supervising what's going on and the kids aren't out getting in trouble where you would take us mm-hmm. to the skate park yeah and you know you would drive us all around i remember going down in delaware finding this person had a skate ramp this person yeah, had whatever. a skate yeah, ramp he was so great that yeah way. and we'd all pile in that car and, and it was so much fun you all wanted to be in the shittiest car in town <laughs> yeah yeah but it was so much fun because <laughs> remember the buzzer yeah 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 yeah. The seatbelt buzzer. <laughs> yeah you had five seconds to get out of the car yeah yeah it'll blow up yeah, yeah. people dove out of it knock each other over <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know. I mean, it was, but it was a lot of fun, and you made it so much fun when we were riding around doing that. And it felt like we had another friend there with us that was just, you know, watching us and making sure we weren't getting into 
into trouble or anything like that. Yeah, he was but, the biggest kid. But, but also <laughs> having a good time with us. And I think that that's a rarity because, you know, there there's always this, well, do you be their friend or do you be this, the, the, the parent and this? And you go, well, if, you know, there was this, this miss, like, yeah. nomer between discipline and punishment. And I had always heard this, you need discipline. You go, well, here's the thing. Bam and Jess... Mm-hmm had the discipline of playing music all the time, obsessing on it, working your craft to a serious point of becoming really good at it. So that was a discipline. But the difference of punishment... Punishment doesn't really work. Right. So th- so my thought was, it's not that there's not discipline. There's a lot of discipline there. There's mm-hmm. working really hard at something that you may not understand, but mm-hmm. but it's happening. And it's we're working towards either filming a skit or getting this thing together or there's a song, funny song being made or there's stuff happening. And that is a discipline. Right. That oh, doesn't yeah. just come... Oh, you work hard for your craft. Right. But you have to know what's important too. I think for Phil and I, we were really trying not to be your friends. but we And we weren't trying to be you know your wardens either, but we were just right. trying to be guidance counselors, I think. Right. To guide you and and to have fun because you're only a kid one time in your life right. and like just have fun. It's not so serious. I think today like everything's so serious. serious well, that's what I mean. It's, it's like there, yeah, they're so worried and and there's there's not only is there a helicopter parent, there's a helicopter parent that's helicoptering the parent. It's so then crazy. it's like going, well, you're not parenting, Don't right? You're not this. And every, it's like, geez, like, you know, back like off. Even like you can't even just go out and just play. You yeah. know what I mean? Because like you got to schedule a play date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. I'm like, yeah. oh my god! No, it's like we were just going down into the woods and figuring just something go out. Going over play. the train track across the street. Remember, I'm yeah. like, just come home for lunch. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And so like I, I just, I don't know. I always, I always appreciated you guys encouraging that. And, and I and I really think that a lot of that is what led to, you know, having the success with, with Jackass, with, with the band CKY, with doing that. Like, that all was a result of being encouraged and, you know, and, and, and having a place to, um, to kind of incubate that. You well, know. thank you. Yeah, so thanks, thanks for doing that. Hey, well, we had as much fun as you guys. Yeah, did, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, we yeah. had a ball, and I mean, like, and we kind of rode the ride with you guys, I guess. Absolutely. The, I mean, absolutely. And so happy for all of you, but so sad for your hard times, too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Which makes it's it true. harder because then we felt like we had, we felt like we almost had like six, seven kids. And, Right. And and like even when yeah. Ryan died, like I, I didn't want to like step up as a parent, but I felt like it almost was. Well, right, because I mean, because he, he feels like my brother. Yeah, I and mean, Bam's he was my brother, my house, and, the, and Jess is my brother, and he was it's at our all house, yeah. like Brandon, Ray, all, all those guys are all you all my went through brothers, it together, and you guys were like second parents to me, so. Yeah. So it is. It makes total sense, and it yeah, does. Yeah, I mean, feel I like felt the loss the like member. I lost my child. It right. was very hard. Right, and it's and I and I un- totally get that. And it would be yeah. weird if you didn't because of the bond I that suppose, we all have. Yeah, you know, and and uh, and it is a family, and that's the mm-hmm. thing. So, so yes, and and it's crazy because I think you know when we're running wild when we were young, and you're going, you're shitting on this thing, like you got to get a job, you know, and it's like. Well, and you know, you're thinking about that stuff and telling me that, and not, it's in one well, year you, out the other. You were actually saying that to me. Oh, oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you did, as you were, because uh, I, I was coming home from work, and you were running in a jack strap, <laughs> and told me that you had eaten so much X lax that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, oh, he goes, the thing that worries me is what's going to happen after this? How am I going to get a job? What if somebody <laughs> says, hey, aren't you the guy who was running and shitting? Yeah. I said. That's a good thing to think about. Yeah, yeah. Well, and the funny thing is, is it's worked out and it's actually helped because I do camera work and now people will be like, oh man, that's the guy who well, was on Jackass and whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what I always found really funny, and I talk about this from time to time, is having took a shit and thrown it on the lockers and then being put up in front of the board and being expelled. One of the guys that was on the board, Zimbano, was the guy that drove by. I remember when we were filming Jackass, I went out to the stop sign with the newspaper and took a shit in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah. And it happened to be him. The same guy. Driving by. Him and his wife were driving by. And all these years, a couple years later, we're filming for Jackass. And I'm going, 
hey, still doing the same old shit, you know, <laughs> literally. Hey, I'm, yeah, you know? I'm a professional now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's just funny how it all kind of That's led to those funny. things. And, and it, it is strange because how would you ever know, obviously, when you're doing it? You wouldn't. We, we never mm. would have known that that stuff would have taken off. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but, but like it's so much fun, you know, kind of uh, Crazy. going through that. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about BAM skateboarding because we, we, we sort of talk a little bit about how much we traveled around and did it. But, but, you know, the support of it, I think, was what really helped for it to become something because, you know, and I can't remember if you actually built the ramps or if other people built them, but you, but you guys made it so that there was two big half pipes in the back yard. We bought the transitions and- Okay. I helped my brother, Pat. Yeah, yeah. okay. Them. But here's, yeah. Yeah. here's the funny part. We built those ramps when, when the kids were in Woodward. So we could have had a week free to do fun stuff and grown-up stuff but no <laughs> we had every single kid in the neighborhood there yeah. helping the build this thing so i had more kids than when my kids were there and i'm like <laughs> yeah they're <laughs> off at skateboard camp and then you and <laughs> like i still have a, an entire parcel of people like like yeah. i said we could have just had a quiet week <laughs> done some grown-up things but instead you're, no, build, you're building skateboard build a ramps. ramp yeah, yeah. So. But that was so fun. That I mean, that was so cool um, because we would get to you know skate on the ramps and and uh, and then there's like that little clubhouse that was like a two story mm -hmm. shed. The, the, the fort. That, yeah, clubhouse. the fort. Yeah. That, yeah, that was his vision when I yeah. thought I saw a small little clubhouse. And oh, it was, it was getting so bigger rad. and bigger. Yeah, it was so good because you could go up. You climb Pull up through the it through. I to think the next he clubhouse. built it for him. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> You're playing out this clubhouse that you uh, wanted when you were in fantasy awesome. clubhouse. Yeah, yeah. But 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 that led to Team X, mm -hmm. yep, which team was X like too. you know uh, just the kind of the local you know kids. Mm -hmm. It was building this skateboard team called mm -hmm. Team X, and then that kind of transitions into you owned a, a hairdressing salon. Mm -hmm. And but you would also cut our hair and then give us an X in the back of our hair. Remember those yeah. shorts I sewed for learn everybody? Did you make handshake? I I think so, but wait, I, I I remember I remember it, but I don't. My grandkids what was it? all do know you remember it. Not being able to do it. Yeah. Oh, you got it so far. Point. That, Fake. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> okay yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I do remember. Yeah, I, I, I do awesome remember that. that. Yeah. That's yeah. All that's Jesse's hilarious. kids know it. Yeah. She makes it. <laughs> yeah. No, I do remember doing that. I remember having the X in the back of my head. Yeah. When Abe yeah. was cutting your. Yeah. Then she made you jackets. Remember? Yeah. And shorts, jackets, and shorts. I said, <laughs> uh, well, guess what the name of those shorts were? <laughs> oh, J. J. Bam Ramp Jams. <laughs> that's what you put a label in there. J. I said Bam Ramp. So many shorts. J. Bam Ramp, right? Ramp Jams. Because remember, jams were a short. Jams that were a big thing. Yeah, yeah. But I sewed them for every kid in the neighborhood. I was sewing all through the night. I, could, I remember that was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about it. I know. That. I mean, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun, and uh, and and just it, it made. I think it made people just feel included because I was never a great skateboarder. But I would get up on the ramp, and then Bam would love that I could drop in and switch, mm -hmm. and you know I could I could ride the mini ramp a bit. But Bam was ollieing off the top of the clubhouse, yeah, into jumping the off thing. the clubhouse, the and I'm room. like looking at him, going, <laughs> "Well, I'll never be there. I'm just gonna drop in I and was scared, ride yeah. and whatever." Anytime and, he was doing crazy stuff, I'm like, "Oh my god!" But but that was the cool thing that I always felt like you felt included because you're part of Team X. You get the X on your head, you know, you're learning the handshakes, <laughs> and then you're skating, and then somebody like Bam was my age, and I remember when we were little kids. He would always, right off the bat, he could do an Ollie 180, but he couldn't keep it straight. And he was like, how do you get it straight? And I'm like, you're doing the harder thing right, right away. Right. And then trying to go backwards to figure out the easier thing. And it was he, just always funny to me because yeah. he was all, right off the bat with boards, he was already a, a, a already well, advancing because he, you know he he was so small both you and bam were yeah. so small and he was actually skating a tony hawk skateboard deck which he really shouldn't have been skating right. because tony Big hawk board. was yeah. like uh, over six, six feet yeah so it was almost like he was skating 
right. with a surfboard. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. by the time he got into a board that was actually the right size, yeah. it was like throwing the weights off. Right. Um, which was crazy. But the one thing that used to drive him crazy is that Jesse could do an Ollie Impossible and he couldn't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And Jesse would do double kick long. flips. It would hit him in yeah. the nuts. It would hit Bam in the nuts when he tried an Ollie Impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I used to say, <laughs> I used to say, you don't have enough clearance off the ground. And, yeah. he, and he would tell me, well, what the shrunk. hell? What's that mean? And yeah, yeah. Like, and he shrunk I'm not listening to that. He it, but he had yeah. that six foot. He had a or, big yeah. Tony Hawk board. He would not yeah. give that Tony Hawk. I know, and I always had a Steve Caballero because yeah. he would have the hog. I would have the Caballero. Who had Mike and, McGill? Uh, oh, the. Um, Wilder Jeff. Jeff. Wilder Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's just funny to think back to all of that, you know, in those times. And, but, but knowing, like, he right off the bat was more advanced. And then as the years kept going, it just got to be, like, very obvious that he was obsessed with this thing, working hard at it, but also just a very natural right. talent. Yeah, you know, and 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 ha- was so committed. Yeah. So it's every day, and then and that's the thing when we're at school, he has his board at school, and then he's thinking about it, and then he's going, I can't wait to get out of class so that I can go home and skate and skate right. and skate all night, then setting up lights on the ramp and doing, you know, and just yeah, I mean, just he was obsessed, and right, yeah, he had, and you know, now that he's almost forty, you know, it's that obsessive behavior that is good and bad. Do you remember right? That? Do you remember how to sort of force him to play baseball? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. One time, he, he was, was really playing first base, and he was thinking about skateboarding, and it was hit to the shortstop. He wasn't paying attention. The ball <laughs> hit him in the face. I said, you're allowed to quit, man. Yeah. If you're not into it, quit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the day he quit baseball. Yeah, because he was. He just wanted <laughs> he to go home and skate. He didn't yeah. care about first base. I mean, yeah. Because we had our fair share of, like, over at the school, talking to the principal. <laughs> And all yeah. the dumb stuff. Well, and that's what's funny is that you had to pick me up one time oh, after I got well, suspended. Okay, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is like, I just want to, uh, this is for Mr. Rab. This is for Ron Rab. It was not a covert operation. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a conspiracy theory because well I might have been mom, trying to manipulate yeah, well, some things well your mom yeah. was taking Jill yeah. to the Water Gap for a, yeah, yeah. for a trip and he wanted to come and be with Bam and Jess and spend yeah I did yeah yeah so they kept it from your okay, dad, right? Okay, so... Yeah, because right. I didn't want to tell them yeah. because I wanted to stay. Because otherwise you would go yeah. to your dad's and, right. and it wasn't anything against your dad. <laughs> it was just that you wanted to be with your friends. Right. So I said, that's that's fine, Mary. You know, like, well, he can <laughs> right, come right, and say... Right. So my words to you as I dropped you off at school, <laughs> whatever yeah, you yeah. do, be the best kid today. Don't yeah, get yeah, in yeah. any trouble because they will contact your dad. You don't tell me that. Yeah, I don't because I'm like, like, I can't wait to get in trouble. And the first thing that he does is he gets suspended. <laughs> I'm like, and then they call your dad yeah. over there and then they call me and I'm meeting your dad in the office and he's like, why are you here? Are you here? And I'm like, yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm like, well, a funny thing happened. <laughs> so, That's so the good. kids yeah. were kind of like doing this fun project, and yeah. and 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 Mary wanted to make sure that Chris wasn't excluded, and so in instead of <laughs> you're, you're covering all I'm this like, nonsense, I'm like, what am I doing? You're like, really, Chris hid it from you because he didn't want to go stay at your place. He wanted so to be over I, I was our really place. trying to make it yeah. sound like, yeah, right, you know, right. listen, it's not that he didn't want to come there. It's just that they were doing this. But I remember when you came back to my house. But there's some truth to that, true. I well, mean, true. Uh, honestly. But you I, came yeah. back with me. And then yeah. I remember you and I were sitting on the porch swing out front. And I'm like, and your dad was going to come and get you. And I'm like. Really? You really, you really had to make sure you did that? I said, you know, it yeah. couldn't have been easy. So yeah. now they're trying to find your mother in the water gap. Yeah, and yeah. your dad's picking you up. And he's pissed at probably us. Right, right. right. You. Well, he's found, you're the scapegoat because I'm really the one that was always that. And that was the other thing. Is and, like, And then he's yelling at me, why'd you put it in his head? I said, I didn't. I just you said, don't up. get in trouble. When you, you put, put pressure on somebody, it does make them think. <laughs> Thanks for always having my back, Yeah, so. he's yeah. like, well, you put it in his head, and I'm like, shut up. There's so much pressure. Oh. <laughs> but, it, but it is funny because, you know, I I just, I always got in trouble, and I loved it. I loved, I just didn't want it on that day. I know, and I, I didn't think past that. I should have, but, but my whole existence was... I is from the very second I got to school, I just wanted to fuck with people 
So like the minute I got there in the morning, I was like, oh, there's the whole group of Mal Mitchell's friends. I'm gonna go fuck with them. And then over there, there's the jock kids. I can't oh. wait to go fuck with them. And then like, and it was from the that was from the very second the day started. I was thinking that all day long. Just to and get on their constantly. Under their skin. Well, yeah, because I just loved. I yeah. loved oh, stirring it up. Dave Fairman threw you out yeah, just for saying yeah. Stussy guys, Stussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know because I knew that it was pissing them off. You I just kept doing, doing it. And then when, what yeah. was that overnight thing that you did it like one of those bouncy house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I cannot now. say what he said all night long over and over and they he drove them all insane <laughs> and then he did it on the way home when I picked him up to my house and I was ready to put a gun in my mouth <laughs> because of what you were saying. That's awesome. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. And I'm like, you did that but all I loved, night? I loved doing that because there was something about P- seeing people come unraveled. And, yeah, seeing people come unraveled, and there was something about things that I always found really funny. If it was funny, then it became <laughs> annoying, and then it became funny again. Like right. where, you where took the, it to you, the like, limit. You go to that, really. and you find I've that. I traveled that, that road with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've yes. seen it happen. Dude. <laughs> exactly. That one night, that, that one day, I was taking him home in the car. Oh man, he wouldn't stop. I'm like. <laughs> Chris, you have to stop or I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> and then it does get funny because you're like, Yeah, once you get past that, then you. Yeah, well, well can what see made it. me laugh was Bam saying, And then this guy said, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he says, And then that the guy, guy was going to kill me. And stuff. And then he goes, And then he was just like ready to kill him. <laughs> See, I find that so good because he was like this of the age where the it's like, yeah, yeah, he totally yeah. broke him. And like, yeah, he just. If there's yeah. anybody that can break anybody, yeah, yeah. it's totally you. Yeah. I, you even yeah. now, if you just start yeah. that somewhere. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's so fun. And I, and I, I just oh, love doing that. But that, that was either. my whole mission in life, I felt like. And so the day that you dropped me off to say, don't get in trouble, I'm like, what the hell am I going to do then? Why am I even going to school today? <laughs> yeah, it did. This is what, you know, and so that was like the thing with the shit in all the lockers. Like yeah, I knew to get that meeting in the morning when they said, don't get in trouble again the rest of the year. I'm like, that's not going to right? yeah. not happen. Right. You're not oh. going like, to survive we the were in, year. We were in the, the end of January. Oh, no. It so was like early, right? You had all halfway through the year. Yeah, there's no way in hell to go another half. <laughs> I'm going to make it until June without doing something. I was like, I don't even want to be here. The whole, my whole point of school was, yeah, 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 get all the work done. But then, like, be the class clown person that's, like, stirring it up, making somebody laugh, doing this, trying to, trying to, like, entertain in that way, you know, and, and finding that, you know, and that's what that was. So, so then, yeah, it just, it was, uh really fun fun to do that but but you guys were like second parents because i would stay over your house on on school nights and things like that and and that was where my dad had struggled with like what the hell like and so when you show up that day it's confirming his thoughts of like that's what's causing the problems and like i said other parents my dad included my mom never my mom would always say that's chris right your son's You're- doing that stuff too but Chris yeah. is doing that. I'm not going to sugarcoat this forced. bullshit yeah, yeah. Right. and say that, oh, your kid's influencing my kid. Right. It was like, no, that's my son. Your mom has <laughs> always been cool. Yeah. She's a very cool person. Right. I, I know. And, 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 and the total right mom for me. And you know what? She's were, the total right mom for you because she totally gets you. Yeah. And like, nobody else could have. And the same thing with you with Bam. And, and it's that feeling of, but you understand where we're coming from or what's happening and it isn't a mean-spirited thing but also bam's not to blame for my actions i'm not to blame for bam's actions and then any of our other friends around like Mm -hmm. that but most parents want to find the scapegoat to say the bad kid well that kid kid. is the reason why my kid did this and you go no your kid's the reason why your kid did this the reason your kid found that kid is because he wanted to do that shit sure you know and that was yeah that was my thing and and that's what what the other friends that i had uh, aside from bam were it worked with bam because you admitted and understood this is my kid he's wild and this is Rab. He's wild too. Okay, they make sense. Well, actually, you were. It was like two negatives equal positive. You yeah. Know what I mean, like you guys were very good together, and like I know I yelled at you kids for making a mess and stuff, but I I don't think I ever yelled at you for being a bad boy. No, no. And the funny thing is with you is if you've ever, I mean, your grandparents now. So, so there is that thing of like the first time like little Scarlett or little Ava says, 
shit. Right. It's hilarious. But you have to be like, don't say that. Right. But it's hilarious. Right. And so you were always that. I always could see the crack behind that wall of you going, don't do that. And you're like, God damn, this is hilarious. But she's How many breath. times? Yeah. Well, but, wait. Do you remember? <laughs> we used to call Bam Monty Hall. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 it was yeah. like, let's make a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and I think you were Monty there, Hall. too. Because yeah, yeah, I, yeah. said, I said to him, that's it. You are going in. And he came up and he goes, I've been thinking about this thing. And he says, so how about if I stay out for the rest of the night because because basically <laughs> yeah. the whole day is used up and then see tomorrow is supposed to rain so like I'll be in anyway and so if I go in tonight I'll drive you <laughs> crazy tonight and then that'll be a whole nother day of being crazy so how about if I just stay <laughs> out till yeah, dark yeah. and then I'll be inside um, all day tomorrow because of the rain but I'll be really really sad yeah. and I'm like and I and I remember thinking this makes total sense yeah 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 yeah. You know, or yeah. worse yet it's like okay mister well, that's, could, could, that's it yeah. you're in uh, yeah, 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 yeah and there's some <laughs> level of when you're the parent and you're trying to punish the kid by put, making him stay in you're also punishing yourself and he understood that <laughs> yeah so that it's like yeah and then you go shit he's right because this so, is going to be punishment for well, me well he used to tell me stuff and say <laughs> mom and he'd have the camera you won't believe what Rab did today at school. And I'm like, I hope it wasn't anything bad. And he would say, well, he did this and this. And I'm like, he did not. He's like, mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's hard. <laughs> it was so fun. And I, I mean, I just feel like it, you like you feel lucky when you find somebody like that. And, and when we had found each other, you, we felt like that kindred spirit. Yeah, you guys like, right away. Yeah. And even with um, Scott. Yeah, you know, he yeah. was like kind of part. Well, of, Scotty was the kid you used that to call the P, you used yeah. to call yourself the three peewees. Yeah, yeah, Remember that? yeah, yeah. And and we did stupid shit like running around the, the and neighborhood he had naked an awesome and mother whatever. Too. And yeah, but he was I Scott for me was always like too safe. Yeah, like he he wanted to be there, but not really. But he didn't want to like do commit. it. He, he just commit. wanted to watch us because sure. there was craziness going yeah. on between us. Yeah. And uh, and it's funny because yeah he would sort of he's like right there but then sort of like you can't pull the trigger right, right. I'm not gonna do that shit but I want to yeah. watch it because it was a fun show yeah. you know <laughs> and, obviously but yeah 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 I yeah. think we had some ratings yeah 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 yeah, yeah exactly it actually turned into a show yeah it did turn into but, a show uh, but no I mean so much fun through through those years of doing that and um, I wanted to talk a little bit I guess about. Um, Sort of the beginnings of of when the band started to happen, and then getting into those years of <clears throat> jackass people band and all. But like I remember, obviously there's foreign objects, but then the band Oil was really what became CKY. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Jess and Darren, the band Oil, was the two of them creating these mm -hmm. songs and putting this together and then kind of filling in the gaps of okay then Darren will play bass too they and went then, through a and then they'll find people. an extra person to come for in show, and I just like I remember you know the little shows here and there there's a show in the park and I remember the playing at like the Oakbourne Mansion right. like things like that but then like how was it when Oil all of a sudden started getting like booked at like a a club in Philly and they're like underage yeah. or they're they're at um, alibis in right. Westchester they start they're like at a young age they were already showing potential for mm -hmm. look these places are booking them mm -hmm. and they're 17 and years they were, old and they were whatever, very you know. specific rules with that you come in through the back you don't go through the club yeah you play the show you get out yeah yeah and so I mean it's gotta be kind of you know crazy but fun and cool and you got it like there's got to be like I wondered how did that feel as the parents going oh my god we're letting them go into these bars we questioned but, ourselves all the time right. because we're like I okay. and I remember that and we that's why I'm saying show, it I think, we, so we well, were yeah. every no, show. yeah absolutely well, we were chaperoning because yeah. we absolutely had, we were always I'm I'm even to this day still taking everybody to the airport yeah still dragging all the equipment around yeah like I'm still doing that somehow I get the call <laughs> yeah but but because I think, you you're know, trusted for, in that well, way trusted, too but there yeah. are lots of times that you know there were times when Phil and I were like you know I feel like that thing with Reese Witherspoon 
you know, you've got a baby in a bar. You know, like, okay, your kids are playing a bar. <laughs> yeah. They were 17. They weren't three. I know, but, yeah. it, but, it, but I know. But it felt like that. That's how I felt. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, my yeah. gosh. Who's going to Well, because they're always going to be your little kids. This is a kids. good idea. Yeah, and even though they were 17, 18, or whatever, or 17, I think. Well, they were but really like, writing good music. And, yeah. And, and the music that, you know, I used to clean the house to them, like, practicing downstairs. I'm like, okay, this is a good one. Yeah. This is a good one. You know, yeah. especially in high five. Mm-hmm. That's a good one to clean house to. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so you were in the early workings of so, what was yeah, CKY. Yeah, I would listen to them go yeah. back and forth. You're their A&R guy, basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. they would actually come up and they said, you'll always say that it's good. And so Darren came up one time and he said, they purposely so what did you think? Made it all they purposely, you know, made it yeah, all yeah, yeah. and I'm like, I don't know what was going on today, but didn't yeah. sound that good today. Yeah. And they said, "Okay, now we know you're telling the truth." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they ever so, tested you? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wasn't exactly. <laughs> Something was off. Yeah. But keep going. I think there was only yeah. one time I went down that basement when it was like late at night. Yeah. And the two of them were arguing, and it was more like you know, Alan was yelling at Jesse, and Jesse's kind of like taking it. So I never really took it upon myself to step in, but I stepped in that night, and I'm like, I remember going to say going downstairs and they were young and I said Darren go home you know hey, time to go home time to go home yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. Yeah. a lot of times they would practice and it was like 12 o'clock at night I was making right. linguine yeah I know yeah. you know because they're hungry and I remember that and 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 I remember that's why I was saying like the support of that because banging drums at that at that time of the night is tough yeah but but also, as a creative person, you end up finding that creativity late at night like that. Yeah, yeah. And, and I well, always that remember... basement had 18 inch cement walls. Nobody heard it. You thing. Yeah, they could play all like, night long. You could hear it upstairs, though. Upstairs, but yeah, not yeah. outside. Right, yeah. Which never bothered me walls. because I think, you know, growing up in a house full of drummers, like right, my yeah. brothers were always downstairs drumming away. And, you know, if the phone rang or it was dinner, it was always. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk outside, but yeah. yeah, our whole family was used to. So you were yeah. you were already prepped and ready for Jess to come so along and bang those me. drums. <laughs> yeah, that, people were like, "Doesn't that bother you?" And I'm like, and, "And how did you feel like about it when the band like was it? You know how? Because when you know when you get to a place like for me now, I'm still young, but but at 40 you're going, this music nowadays is terrible. You know, Horrible. so so then yeah. like we're. Because you're an Elvis fan, because you you know like music from that generation, how did this sound to you? Well, the live shows kicked ass. They reached Elvis's thigh, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all the stars today reach his baby toe. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Power. Oh, and damn. CKY reached his thigh about half a dozen times, in my opinion. Yeah. They were good. I liked them. For real. I mean, especially <laughs> obviously when it became the full fledged band and the tours. I mean, yeah. the tours, the, the the energy in the in those rooms you know whatever whether it be the theater or whether it even being out on the beach when there's thousands of people on the beach and stuff yeah, there's it, still it, an energy it's, it, it, it is yeah. overwhelming like when we come on sometimes even to bring them on or we go with them or we see the reactions to people from the band it's overwhelming yeah. for us as parents and and i think at one point too like with you guys filming what you were doing called cky and yeah. the band called cky I felt like we were rolling this big, massive snowball. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. It was going into this big, enormous thing. And I remember even, you know, between the music and, like, your videos, we were having three showings a day yeah. in our little living room and with all of Westchester. What the and I'm like, they have that was something funny. here. Yeah, yeah. They've got exactly. something nobody's ever seen. I don't know whether it's going to be conceived as good. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was... It's what people want to see. And it was... Uh, in, and that was what was so cool is that for me, what I always feel, um, you know, proud to be a part of was that it was different in the fact that Sure, other people have done pranks and stunt things, and other people have done bands, but this whole thing was Came this together. collective of creativity of everybody. It was the funny stuff with the their, skateboarding right. and the music, right. and you guys were stinking funny. So it was so you fun just to doing be a dumb part stuff. of. You, you know, were yeah. saying funny stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, right. And, I think that the commentary, it was a perfect storm for all of that to come together. And you all deserve, you know, huge accolades for all of, for all, all of time. Because you started something, you changed the face of, of how people saw that. It wasn't like 
um, you know, Candy Camera, and it, it was a whole different right. music video type thing that you yeah. were putting together. I mean, it, it was, was its really own one thing. of it. It was yeah. its own thing. Yeah. And for that, you can be proud because you can take that with you forever. Yeah. And, and then, you guys and, did that. Right. And it was and it was so cool because each, each and every every person. <laughs> yeah, crying. yeah, yeah, yeah. But each and every person had their part in what it was, and obviously, Bam's the ringleader of of all of that, mm -hmm. and always have been. And he's the young guy. I'm a little younger, but the young guy of all of it. But each and every person had their little bit of part of it, mm -hmm. and that was what was so fun yeah, about it. Yeah. And just all it through was. the years, it's been so so cool. And and then you know how how strange that it sort of okay went into jackass stuff, but then after that came into the Viva La Bam, and then all of a sudden that was crazy because we're sitting in the skate park right now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and the blue kitchen. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the blue kitchen well, and all that stuff. That was like yeah. You and guys at our old house on a small little budget. Because do you remember when, like, we had to take the the windows out or something. I said, guess what? Good, good news, guys. You can break the windows out of the kitchen. Good news, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The TV That's when you broke. How to rob a house. You know, yeah, news, yeah, 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 yeah. How to rob a house. The fat boys. Here's, here are all the things you get to break today because yeah. they're on the fritz. Yeah. But this was like a monster yeah. I didn't see coming. I mean, okay. we, we had a new house, which was so nice yeah and then to like have this place well you guys had done ming hags first which was uh, enough, ha haggard haggard yeah, first, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was enough like so brother you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah you're making a mess but, but then, that mess like, paled in comparison to <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah was, i was like that was, was nothing like, there was days for the like, couple i can't do one more day of it <laughs> yeah a couple fake turds like taped to the oh, garage yeah. door compared to like Making ice skating rings Dude, and skateboarding, you know, parts of the house. Do you know how long it took us to get all that walkway, oh. all the lighting, oh, yeah. all that oh, yeah, yeah. months, yeah, and I was bugging the guy forever to finish it. And do you know, a week went by, and you guys dug it all up and put that moat in there. <laughs> I wanted to oh kill my you God. all. Yeah. Well, you blue kitchen. Go take a look. I know. You can still see There's some. Still blue and over I've there. Been in it a thousand times. <laughs> well, and that's the, the the fun part too is that you did have a good way of of still seeming like you were having a good time even though you were being <laughs> tested well, to a level. Of, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know when we were filming and and you, remember we were filming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, the the tape had to get shipped to California, yeah. and then, and then it was edited, and we were on the air that Sunday with what we just filmed that week. Yeah. Well, Every the first no. Depending well, on the season. Later, yeah. yeah. First season, we were right there. Yeah, because they right, week. Right, yeah, it was. And what we just did was on Sunday yeah, night. And also the, the 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 problem with the first season too was them trying to figure out how to do this thing because. For all they of our life, work. we've had skateboard right. uh, videographers or cinematographers they doing to, it. They bolted all the things in the house, right. and that remember the that didn't work. Yeah, yeah, because we all quit. that was right. That was the the mindset was look when G was there, when Franz was there, when when Roger was there, when you know Tremaine and those guys and everybody that's in the skateboarding mm -hmm. world that gets it. Right. Sh shot the CKY stuff and then the Jagger right. stuff. It's like, you all get it. Right. So it didn't need to be that. But then when you get the Hollywood crew coming in going, they what the to, hell's going they on were here? trying to do it the same way the Osbournes was done. Right. Like, tape everything that we had. Right. But I mean... But that wasn't what this was. No. And well, that's, they got and it. And they, they eventually figured out what it was, but that's why I say that first season was hard because... Really hard. They were, they were trying to figure that out and then trying to get it on air quickly. Uh -huh. And then yeah. as as the time went, they realized, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll shoot this ahead. And then we have a few ahead, weeks. A then you have, All yeah. I know is that there was a time when I just thought we'll never recover from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we had the front door gone, the garage door <laughs> gone, and they had a wrecking ball to take this big palladium window. I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. In front there's of you. no <laughs> way, dude. There is no way. And I remember they took it was the piano. Like, like Tony Hawk was here or something, and then they kicked through the wall. And that was the only damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. He knocked he, the window he, off yeah, the, yeah. the mirror. mirror. <laughs> he went through the wall, the mirror, hit the mirror. The yeah, mirror yeah, yeah. Life. But Tony they can do whatever he that, wants. Yeah, exactly. He's Tony Hawk. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is it? How cool is that? I was just going to say, how cool is that? That Remember they came in the 80s 
into Westchester and did that skate yeah. demo in like yeah. Oakhorn or not? Uh, was it uh, what? What's what park is that over um, on um, Everhart? Yeah, Everhart. Park. Yeah, Everhart. Yeah. So they came and did that like in the '80s, and you know, Bam was a huge fan of Tony. I was a big fan of Steve Cavallaro, and uh, and William Eastwood McGill, and all. That. And so Bones Brigade comes to our little town to do that, mm-hmm. and then years later. We end up crazy. being friends with Tony crazy, right? and filming with him and doing that. You know, Matt, it's so Matt crazy. Hensley remembered signing the car, and he's like, "The sticker car you signed." Oh, I signed man. your car. Yeah, hell like, yeah! It's amazing how like how many skaters remember sign signing the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, All but those that's years what, later. yeah, and, it, and that's kind of that thing where it's sort of like fate for where it's supposed to be going that direction. Well, do you know what's really crazy? I mean, and this has nothing to do with you Wait, guys. Who was but, Jess? Was he Guerrero? Yeah. Tommy, Tommy Guerrero, Guerrero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse was Guerrero. Guess yeah. what? I have a giant bag of all the skate shirts downstairs. I saved what? them all from the 80s. Oh, man. That would be incredible. I saved them all. Damn. But when I met Phil, our, our first actual date was for me to go on this. I was supposed to meet this man who was going to put me on cable television. And there was no cable he, television And there was yet. no cable television. Yeah. And he says, look, there's going to be a lot of cable television. You'd be perfect for commercials. Please, like, I want to get you on commercials for cable yeah. television. And I told him, you know, <laughs> like, my dad says no, you know? N- yeah. No. And so. Because you were 17 or 18? Well, or? I was like 17 and 18, yeah. and he was yeah, mentioning. Yet, he even mentioned an underwear commercial, so I. Oh, he'd be a creep. I thought that. <laughs> yeah. So Damn, they're trying to get ape on the casting sugar. couch. But we did not see sugar. the vision <laughs> about cable television. What do you mean there's more than three channels to choose? Right, right, Come right. On. Prism, remember so that? Now, <laughs> that yeah. Prism. So yeah. So remember. So then fast forward it to 1980. 80, 81, I started working again as a hairdresser in King of Prussia, Mm -hmm. and I happened to be cutting the uh, executive of MTV's hair. And he said, you need to go to New York because you would be a perfect VJ. Oh, for MTV, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have been because you were that style. I remember that, like, when we were young. They said you would be perfect. she knew all the music back then. Well, I didn't, I mean, I... I was a little bit after, but even then right. you were still a cool mom when we were like well, six thanks. or whatever. But I mean, yeah. he yeah. liked that. I knew music. I looked what they wanted. Yeah. He says, this is what it pays. Like, if you go up there, you'll get the job. Yeah. And I remember saying, but I'm a hairdresser and I live in Pennsylvania and I have two babies. Yeah. Right. Like, I can't yeah. go to New York. I'm not leaving my family and I don't see me moving my family to New York. I mean, really, I just didn't see that. Right. And so I respectfully... Turned him down. Yeah. Not knowing. <laughs> I'll be on MTV later on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that it's so funny. That is You know, funny. all those years later, yeah. I am not only on cable television. <laughs> yeah. I'm on MTV. Yeah. Oh, man. So, that is, that's a funny full circle. Weird, right? Yeah. yeah. It is, that's part of that, too, where it's destined to be that way. And it's weird that it would, could have been then, but you were like, this was what was It was more like important, every single thing that, anyway. that I said no to came back. Yeah. Only I looked way older. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> but hey, you're you were the cool mom, so, so yeah. <laughs> so that's cool, man. So it, funny. Um all right, well, I don't know. It's been awesome sitting down and, and it was chatting. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> well and uh, and it's always good to reminisce and we could probably sit here and do We this could all night. forever. Yeah. <laughs> forever. But we'll have to go get in the hot so, tub with Bam Bam. I know, get in the hot <laughs> yeah. Go get in the S T D stew yeah. like the old days. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, no thanks. Like <laughs> oh, the, at come the castle. On. You guys uh, jumped yeah. into the damn sale. The castle when you wouldn't go near that one. <laughs> no, that one was sick, <laughs> oh. man. I know. It was yeah. like <laughs> Well the thing is but Dunn jumped in the, the shit plant. But that was my idea because I go, dude, what if I jump in the thing? Because Bam was looking for ideas. I said, what if I do? He goes, will you do that? I was like, no, I'm not doing that. But and then, then Dunn, Dunn so was like, he because he would always step up to the plate. And I do know it. he did, and I'm and like, that, you're not. Because I remember because I was the shit guy, so it made sense for me to go into go in the there, shit. But he was like happy to do it, and then he never showered <laughs> afterwards. What the? <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember that footage of you like he making him a sandwich out through, on the front lawn. I never he thought. Ate at the bottom of the hill. You know what? Yeah. When, I, when I see that footage of that day, yeah. I was cleaning and cooking for all you guys, and even though they and told you didn't us, put your contacts in. No, I like. I, even though they told us we were on the show, I'm like, we're not going to be on the show. And I'll be, I'm like, they're not going to film us. And 
I, I had my hair up. I was cleaning. Yeah, I was you're cooking, right. Yeah, yeah. And still, I keep, I'm so upset about it because Jeff you see that says, clip? The yeah, fir- the he best. goes, the first natural day the that. Best. That's not natural. <laughs> I, I was like, look, I look like ah, hell. I love it. Natural's the best. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I look terrible. <laughs> and, I, you're, you're... and I really didn't think that they would ever, because Casa came right in the, and he goes, what are you doing, Abe? And I'm like, why are you filming me? Because he goes, well, you're part of the show. And I'm like, I didn't think you really meant it. Yeah, right, right. I thought, right. like, I'm here to feed you guys, and you were being nice. Like, right, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I want to go get dressed and do my hair. Yeah, 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 exactly. I want to get prepared to be on camera, but there please, was oh, there please. was no time for that in the in those days or ever really because you just never knew what was going to happen that, next. Yeah, and, that, and it just that was crazy. Always led to something crazy. But uh, so much fun, and thanks for coming on the Bathroom Break podcast. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having thanks, us. Yeah, thanks love you coming. guys. Well, yeah. love you too. And you can always come to our house <laughs> yeah, yeah. anytime you want. Just tell your dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>